Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today, our group will be presenting on topic red tape. It is based on the incident that hinders economic progress. So I will introduce to our group mate. My name is Noralia Shahada binti Azman and then Siti Noamira binti Sheikh Muhammad and then Nur Shakila Aisa binti Sahaburin and then the last one is Nur Fatiha binti Abu Hanifa. So next, I will proceed to the introduction of the red tape. All right. First thing first, red tape is known as the rules and regulation, regulatory and supervisory process and structure which are no longer successful in achieving their expected goals and which create suboptimal and undesirable social outcome. In certain situations, a fairly logical procedural system may be messy through bad interference between individuals or by a poor communication on how the method function. As a consequence, extremely operations and growing the business focus on administration staff will play a significant role in eliminating inefficiency and thereby lowering costs. Red tape show up in between all kinds of organizations such as the different sphere of government, the private sector and civil society. While a great deal of red tape is being generated elsewhere in the economic and social environment, we primarily concentrate on the red tape that exists in the local government domain or the arise in the business or the supply chain. Other than that, the organizational framework of the company is structured to explain the boundaries of uh, control and help the job cycle efficiency by avoiding redundant process not to slow things down. Sometimes, such as system can slow down the decision-making process between the top and the bottom of the organization. That's all for me for the introduction of the red tape. Next, Siti no Amira will uh, explain to you the incident and issues in the red tape. So proceed, Siti no Amira. Thank you, Alia Sohada. My name is Siti Nur Amira binti Sheikh Muhammad and I will explain about the issues that arise due to the incidence of hinders economic progress under our main topic, red tape. So, the first issue that always arises is bureaucratic roadblocks. First of all, let me explain a bit about the bureaucratic roadblocks. Bureaucratic roadblocks is actually country's economy that is not growing at its true potential due to various factors including the self-service bureaucracy, incompetent economic managers and the mining class that always indulge in influencing trade policies to their financial advantage. So, the government needs to ensure that the bureaucratic procedures and requirements do not stifle innovation and progress. This is because government agencies are meant to provide service to the taxpayers. So, within the mission statements and authorizing legislation of these departments are mandates to correct problems and keep the paper flow moving. So, in order to uh, fulfill this action, the primary difficulty that a person has uh, with the government agencies which is commonly happened is the mandarin red tape that uh, these bureaucracies can create. So getting the right help from the government agencies can be time consuming rather than have employees distracted. Human resources will discover means to remove the bureaucratic roadblocks and one such solution is a group legal plan that promotes legal services. The second issue is inefficiency. Inefficiency is a state of not achieving maximum productivity or the failure to make the best of time and resources. So, uh, as we all know, in order to become efficient, we need to reduce more cost and more time. Uh, if the government service becomes slower, the tendency towards inefficiency may rise. As an example, we look at the services from the land office to transfer to transfer off the title to land. Uh, there is a lot of steps need to be followed uh, so the title of the land can be changed. Uh, land title should have been transferred over as soon as that indiv individual paid for the stamp duty. Uh, it, is, 
it is all too common for developers to uh, delay on issuing the necessary title. Uh, sometimes this delay uh, is due to difficulty in processing uh, the submission of the titles and also it may be because of the developer is just plain unwilling to fork out the effort and money involved to get the titles. Hence, uh, why some uh, home buyers wait years uh, upon years. Um, if we conduct a land title search of our own accord through our own lawyer or also we can um, approach the respective land officer for consultation on the case or turn to our trusted lawyer to help us sort out the legal tangle can be the suitable solution for uh, this issue. The third issue is cutting the red tape will reduce corruption. There is no doubt that the red tape is a cause of corruption. The redder the tape and the bureaucracy, the more the corrupt giver must pay to untie the red tape. The corrupt uh, receiver to like to introduce uh, more uh, red tape to get more bribes. As we all know, if the procedures uh, become more complicated, the bribers will have a big opportunity to fill in these um, um, complicated uh, procedures to get more bribes. So both sides can gain and so the corruption will thrive. Um, our former deputy uh, prime minister, which is Datuk Sri Dr. Wan Azizah Wan Ismail, has boldly stated that about 4% of our GDP or a reported sum of about Ringgit Malaysia 47 billion is lost once in a year. Can you imagine how big bribes can be due to this um, red tapes um, procedure? And thanks to the corruption, our 47 billion uh, is lost once a year. This can be a national scandal and a few Malaysians realize that we are losing most that might uh, benefit the unprivileged bottom and middle of 40% of our population. This has uh, been stated by um, R. Navadraknam and also our policies change uh, can be more radically to improve the ecosystem and to effectively combat, curb, counter and also control the vicious and the dangerous culture of corruption itself. So um, our next presenter will uh, present about the solution which is Nur Alia Swada binti Azman. That's all from me. Thank you. Thank you Siti Amira for your wonderful explanation on the issue of the red tape. So next I will proceed with the solution of the issue. The first solution of the issue is focus on the outcome for all the concern. What I mean by the focus on the outcome for all concern is dealing with the bureaucracy will also be a move forward, two step forward. It is the public worker are not disrespectful or obstructive in the general, but there are also protocols that must be observed. It is by focusing on the outcome of all concerns in the simple solution for just about the bureaucratic roadblock. It is by bringing the colleague together and raise a series of questions to know what applies to both parties. What are they attempting to achieve in the organizations? And then also, it is important to try out the risk-reward option. It is on how do we help with the current process, how it is hinders uh, our current process through this. You might well discover that our constructed strategy that are enable all parties to achieve that it is the most important. People do things for their own purpose, not for your own. If you would like the other team on your side, you might need it to find out how it all did uh, the matter to them and figure a way for them both to win the assisting you do uh, to what the matters to you and your team. It is uh, the essential why turn out to be. Right, the essential why turn out to be the secret to the cooperation or the partnership uh, of others. Too many people not just notice the critique of the people party of impending the method. They often input sinister motivates, like the simply don't, uh, don't do not matters. They are not playing a political dynamic trick, or they are they want us to lose, and all that kinds of other unpleasant explanations. Next, I will proceed with the second point, 
it is uh, an effective modern way to less burden the system. This is why some development countries came with the effective modern ways to less burden the system. The example for the development uh, country is Japan. Uh, as you can see, Japan, they are launching an online residency application for foreigners. The government has decided to launch an online service to encourage the foreigner to register for the upgrade their residence status in Japan for the fiscal in 2018. And then, a part of a number of steps aim it is to increase the business platform in order to draw further foreign investment. Also, it will also ease the conditions for highly qualified foreign nationals to obtain permanent resident status and simplify procedure for the acceptance of a business by international business. And then, it is under the work plan application for permanent right. Uh, will no longer have to wait in the cram immigration office to complete the paperwork which uh, will take uh, a longer time but uh, they have a specific such as whether to uh, verify the application identification electronicals are yet to be determined and then uh, the move comes as the government under the Prime Minister Shinzo Abe the, uh, he aims that to increase the volume of foreign direct investment in Japan to 35 trillion of yen uh, equals to uh, 300, uh, 300 billion US dollar. The third point, which are the last point for the solution, is to be more transparency to cut the red tape. Uh, transparency is the main key. It, it is very important to all country. Uh, there should be no question that the red tape is the sources of the corruption. The further red tape and bureaucracy, the more the dishonest given need to spend to the untie of the red tape. Corruption recipients also want to add more red tape and obtain more payments. Both sides gain, so corruption trivers. So uh, that is why government must aim to provide cooperation and citizen with easier, fastest and transparency assistance and guidance. Uh, it is because there are some of the mechanisms used by the variety of the country is establishment of one-stop shop as a single entry to the authorities. What I mean by a one-stop shop is they are providing a many range of integrated function such as a beginning of a company, post-registration uh, formalities with tax authorities, providing details on the market climate and uh, the conditions itself. And also it is uh, ensuring the certificate of the three solution for the red tape. And then next, Shakila will explain to you on how the challenges uh, in the red tape. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, My name is Nur Shakil Aisha binti Shabuddin So I will explain uh, about the economy, uh, eco global economy challenge Okay, the first one is uh, global cooperation, global impact uh, It is uh, generally uh, referred to uh, multinational cooperation which is uh, MN MNC MNC is a company that operates in two uh, or more countries this operation are uh, pursued uh, because of the strategic potential. However, uh, there are significant challenges MNCs face uh, in penetrating uh, this market. Uh, this challenge can loosely uh, be defined through four factors. The first one is uh, public relation. Public image and branding are critical component uh, of most uh, business within this uh, public relation potential in a uh, new uh, geography region uh, is an enormous challenge okay both in effective uh, effectively uh, localizing uh, the message and in the capital uh, expenditure are uh, necessary to create momentum okay the second one is uh, ethics uh, ethics have uh, his historically uh, play a dramatic role in the success or failure of global players. For example, uh, Nike had uh, its brand image hugely uh, damaged through through utilize, utilizing uh, sweatshops and low wage workers in developing countries. Okay, the thirdly is uh, organizational uh, structure. Okay, international expansion require enormous enormous capital uh, investment in many cases. 
along with uh, with the development of a specific strategic uh, business unit SBU to manage to manage the account and uh, operation finding uh, a way to capture value despite this fix organizational uh, investment is an important in initiative uh, for global cooperation and the lastly is uh, leadership uh, it's attaining it's attaining uh, effective leaders with the appropriate knowledge uh, based to approach a given geographic market Okay, there are difference uh, in strategies and uh, approach in average geography, location, worldwide, and uh, attracting talented manager with uh, high interculture. Uh, confidence is uh, in a is a critical step in developing an efficient global strategy. Okay, the second challenge is uh, competing a new area of uh, globalization. Okay. Some American uh, workers face challenges uh, in both manufacturing, uh, where productivity is our uh, passing wage, uh, growth, and services, and also way of sharing uh, is on the rise. Okay, how effectively uh, the United States uh, respond to the new uh, competition will help to determine future living standards uh, for the American uh, middle class. Uh, it will also uh, influence uh, American capacity uh, to resent leadership in the international arena and to address the need of the world of the world um, purest people. Okay, uh, it requires that political leaders okay, reject both uh, the hollow cheerleading, cheerleading uh, for a for a winning for a greenish globalization and sustain strategy that not, not only addresses trade uh, rules but also uh, vigorously implement the required uh, domestic policy. Uh, among the critical uh, factors are the aftermath uh, of the Great Recession uh, and the social cost of the financial firms uh, bail out uh, which a tough uh, fiscal out authority uh, in a number of countries uh, a growing distrust uh, of the open markets mantra and neoliberal uh, global order and massive liquidity uh, injection in the financial market by the side by the central uh, banks after the financial crisis okay the third one is a uh, global health crisis uh, the world has begun to realize uh, that global health issues are relevant for any citizen Regardless uh, of nationally, uh, resident or uh, status, poor con countries uh, continue to suffer uh, this uh, proportionately uh, from inadequate uh, public health system and resources. Uh, is exacerbating uh, is their struggle out of poverty. According to uh, estimation, about uh, two million people worldwide uh, lack access to basic health service. For example, um, malaria in fact uh, more than uh, 500 uh, million people uh, in a year uh, and kills more than a million. Uh, equating uh, to approximately uh, one day from malaria every 30 seconds. Okay, the disease are wreck the most heavily in Africa where it is a leading uh, killer of the children and cost the continent uh, approximately uh, about 12 billion in year uh, in lost productivity. Uh, a poor government uh, lack of the finance uh, to provide the functioning uh, accessible health uh, system. According to uh, Julia, Julia Frank, uh, Minister of Health for Mexico, uh, an estimate uh, about 150 million people and 25 million uh, households uh, impoverished uh, globally because uh, they are required to make out of pocket uh, payments uh, for health care. Okay. Uh, aid for health uh, increased by over 50% uh, from 2002 uh, and until 2005. Okay, uh, reflecting a uh, major increase by uh, the countries, uh, including the United States and the 
creation of new financing uh, partner like the Global Fund to Fight uh, AIDS, um, tuberculosis and malaria and the Global Alliance for Vaccine and Immunization uh, as known as GAVI. Okay. In 2017, uh, an estimate uh, about 219 million cases of malaria occur uh, worldwide uh, with uh, about 95% uh, which is uh, 203 and the 262 million uh, compared with uh, 239 million cases in 2010. Okay, most of the cases in 2027 uh, were in the uh, WHO African region, which is uh, 92%, uh, followed by the WHO South East uh, Asia region, 5%, and the WHO Eastern uh, Mediterranean region, about 2%. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nafateha binti Abu Nipa. I will continue on the impact of the issues. The first impact was it putting a break on the economies of Malaysia. Bureaucratic roadblocks are putting a break on the economy, which is the economy are not growing at its true potential due to the various factors, including the self-servicing bureaucracy that are caused already. That such counterproductive practice will only impede the country economy's progress and shun the potential of the projects that are related to the economy of the nation. Moreover, this issue makes Malaysia a left behind as the most developed economies despite its respectively groups. Rate in the past two years in the term of productivity, Malaysia labor productivity grew at respectable rate in 2017 and 2018, but it still lag behind most developed economies of the world. Second impact is inefficiency in the government service. Red tape in public administration are causing inefficiency in the government service because they are putting more burden on the every procedure are taken in order to serve the citizen. Government service quality serve is uh, basically showing the whole government of Malaysia. This so this is whole an important aspect of the quality of the government of nation as well. The impact of red tape are causing a number of process that business and the investor need to go through to do the business. Red tape in the administration make it difficult to obtain approval in, to invest and they need to spend a lot of their money in order to register or to get approval of any businesses that want to, to register. Moreover, recently, during the COVID-19 outbreaks, there are some many small businesses to be left behind despite the billion allocated to help them with the with the impact of the COVID-19, it is because of the strict requirements that needed made. Uh, only 30% of the small business property are eligible for the one of 50 ringgit that are given for the small businesses. The last impact I would like to discuss is uh, red tape encouraging uh, corruption because the corrupt giver must pay to untie the red tape. We can see, uh, because of the occurring of the red tape in the administrations, uh, some people that want to make uh, their businesses become easier, they must pay for an extra fine in order to untie all the red tape uh, occur. Therefore, Corruption can lead to an unhaven distribution of whether uh, of wealth as uh, small businesses face unfair competition from the large company that have established legal connection with the government officials. Um, about four percent of our GDP, or it a reported sum of 
47 billion ringgit is lost every year due to corruption. This is a national scandal and a few Malaysians realize that we are losing is so much that we could be benefit to unprivileged button and the middle of 40% of our populations. So we can see that the red tape are giving uh, a lot of impact to the government services and also the economies of nations. Thank you, Nofatiha, for your wonderful explanation on the impact of the red tape. And then next, I will proceed with the last one is conclusion of the red tape. And then, after all, we found out that the red tape has a strong negative effect on the citizen satisfaction. And that is the effect is weaker when the citizen have a high knowledge of the political process. A possible explanation for the differences in the measurement of the red tape was different. They were measured uh, red tape by asking managers about the general degree of the red tape for the various stakeholders while we are analyzed the effort the effect of the red tape on the actual citizen perception. When the citizen have the strong political awareness, the influence of the red tape is reduced. This is to ensure the information will balance the red tape on the citizen satisfaction. People with a high knowledge of the experience with the view things appropriately often or as a product uh, as a clear understanding of what they're occurring in the policy and political organization. That's all from me and uh, from our group. Thank you for listening.